Red wine lovers, I have a treat for you today. Are we making cocktails? Yes. Are we making wine-based cocktails? Yes. But are we making them with red wine? Oh yes. Let me show you what we're doing. Well, hello everyone. Welcome to the Wine Sisters YouTube channel. I'm your sommelier host, the founder of the Wine Sisters. My name's Erin Henderson, and welcome to the channel where every week we show you how to eat, drink, and entertain like a pro. Well, we are in the midst, maybe not the midst, probably more the beginning, the glorious beginning of the summer season, and it's a balmy. 30, 36 degrees out, that's Celsius. What that is in Fahrenheit, I have no idea. All I know is that it is gosh darn hot. So we are going to be cooling off today with a lovely, lovely Lambrusco Sour. Now, what exactly is that, you ask? I'm glad you did. Lambrusco Sour, well, this is your whiskey sour. So all the things you love about a whiskey sour, which would be, you know, whiskey, simple syrup, lemon juice, the whole bit. But we're going to top it with a Lambrusco. Now, what's a Lambrusco, you ask? That would be a sparkling red wine from Italy. Now, back in the day, before you shudder, Lambrusco sort of took on a bit of a less than pristine reputation. It became very sweet and insipid and not a lot of people were loving it. But now you can find all kinds of gorgeous Lambruscos, ranging from pink to a beautiful dark crimson red. And yes, from very dry right through to these gorgeous off dry wines that we are loving. Now I'm going to be using a Lambrusco that does have that purpley red crimson hue because you're gonna see it makes a spectacularly colored drink. Also, I am choosing to use one that's a bit off dry or even bordering on sweet in this cocktail so we can get some nice balance. Now, I know that a lot of the time when we're talking about thirst quenching cocktails, we're going to the clear spirits, your vodkas, your gin, but whiskey lovers, this is just such a great segment for you as well. Whiskey can be refreshing. In fact, if you wanna look back on our video for the Whiskey Smash, I highly recommend you do. You can get it right there, but just wait until this video is done because this will add another whiskey cocktail to your summertime drinking repertoire. Okay, so into our shaker filled with a bunch of ice, we are going to add in two ounces of your favorite whiskey, whatever you prefer. If you like a bourbon, use that. If you like a scotch, use that. I'm using a lovely smooth Irish whiskey, right in there, two ounces. We're also going to add in one ounce of freshly squeezed lemon juice. I just squeezed this with my own bare hands. Well, on the help of a squeezer. And one ounce will go into that. So this should seem pretty standard. And some simple syrup. This is just a one to one ratio. Simple white sugar melted into some water, equal parts. One ounce goes right in there. Ta-da. So this should not be looking at all shocking or surprising. Let me just get the lid for this. Got it. Okay. The sound of angels weeping, I tell you. That's good and frosty. Good and frosty. Do 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 do. Okay. Put that off to the side. Now I'm going to take would help if I had some ice in my glass, right? Now, if you want to, I did this segment a couple of weeks ago on CTV's The Social. And in that, because we were looking at festive cocktails for summertime drinking, so when you're at your weddings, your garden parties, your anniversary parties, your bridal showers, da 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 feel free to use this in a really lovely wine glass. You could even get away with having this in a flute if you really wanted to like bougie it up. I'm going to use this rounder rocks glass or stemless wine glass. And you can also fill it up with crushed ice if you like. I find crushed ice a real pain in the arse. So I'm just gonna use these big ice cubes because I kind of like them. I feel like they're um, a little elegant. So we're just gonna strain what is just right now a straight up whiskey sour. And if you want it to have that on its own, fine. No problemo. You can just have your whiskey sour and no one's gonna think worse of you. However, look at the beauty that this brings. I've got my Lambrusco. Again, deep crimson. This is off dry. It's going, look what it does. Just, just look, just look. Ready? You're not looking. Look. I'm watching you. I'm watching you watching me. Is that a song? A power ballad? I don't know. Watch that. Isn't this gorgeous? 
Now, this is a riff on a New York sour. A New York sour just simply is a whiskey sour that floats red wine on top of it, and it will stay, and it has this beautiful banner. And that's great. Often with the bubbles, you'll find that the bubbles will bleed in and not necessarily always create that straight line. Sometimes it does, often it doesn't. Either way, look at the gorgeous color of this, right? This beautiful purple hue, mm. I mean, really. What are we talking about here? We're talking red wine, we're talking whiskey, we're talking bright citrus flavors, we're talking refreshment. Those are not always things that go hand in hand, my friends. And I know that if you're a red wine drinker and a whiskey lover, often those things go hand in hand as well, that often you feel left out of those refreshing summer cocktails. Well, I'm here to tell you, you take a stand. Take a stand and drink your whiskey and drink your red wine and have fun at your own party, right? Why not? The world is literally your oyster. All right, friends, I'm going to take my Lambrusco Sour out to the balcony where I'm going to relax and enjoy this beautiful day with a refreshing whiskey red wine cocktail, the Lambrusco Sour. My name's Erin, I'm from the Wine Sisters. If you enjoyed this, please leave us a comment. What do you like to drink in your summertime? If you, do you need more ideas for whiskey drinks? If you want them, let me know in the comments below. And as always, if you found this video helpful, hit the like button, maybe even choose to share it with a friend or two so we can spread the good word of wine and whiskey, I guess, and cocktails and all of the beautiful things with everyone. So until next week, friends, stay well, drink better.